the typical action that we would expect uh, for the month of August and really something that we could probably expect for the next 60 days almost. So Oren shared something similar to this. I want to share it with the rest of you guys here is this is, let me just zoom in to make sure that this is visible on the recording. <clears throat> so the two months out of the year from the years 1980 to 2018, granted, you know, we didn't have coronavirus pandemic, it was, a, it was a different time, but we did experience several market corrections that were pretty violent between those years. And that is, you know, it's helpful. And this goes back to the previous discussion that I had regarding seasonality. So if you guys remember seasonality trades were um, you know, that's the Santa Claus rally, that's tax loss selling. There's the summer lull, which you can see in June. June is typically a flat month. Um, I don't know what the monthly returns were for the S&P in June, but uh, this year, I actually, I don't know what it was, but um, August and September right here, for the next two months, the markets tend to chop around or favor the downside. Granted, look, I mean, these are not huge, like these are not big negative percent returns. So you don't really have to, you know, think that, oh no, we're going down, 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 down. There's nowhere to go. So it, it that's not to say that <clears throat> we can't chop around, but it's, it's probably going to become more, um, more difficult. So if we look at uh, the, the SPY for the month of June, which is usually flat, we opened up uh, here, closed there. So that's like what, 1% or sorry, not 1%. Uh, So two percent maybe. No, not one percent. Anyway, so somewhere in there, maybe I, I don't I don't really care about the percentage too much. I'm I'm obviously failing to do simple math all of a sudden, but um I think it's two percent. I don't know, it's gonna bug me, but it, it doesn't matter. So for the month of June of 2021, we were rather green in the markets, whereas normally seasonality, 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 whatever that, I don't know. <clears throat> What's up, Kike? Um, today, we had a very, very drastic pullback in the markets right before zombie times. And I still, to this exact moment, don't know what the news was related to this. I saw some people were talking about um, the bond market, uh, the 20-year the treasury bond stuff. Um, I honestly have no earthly idea what exactly caused the panic? Um, oh, there it is. There we go. Oops, not crossover. Dang it. There it is, RSI. So RSI linked 14, overbought, oversold, based on the close, as value. And what I like to do is less than or equal to, and I'll just say value, and I put 31 within one bars and then click save. And then daily right there, I just leave that where it's at and I just go with okay. And then click create. And now that is there and I will know if it's, you know, trigger or not. And uh, I think Uber's a short near 50. Maybe it is. 
no, no, I'm out on that plan. If this thing bounces back from from the 40s all the way up to 50, like I think I think you missed out on a really great long and waited for a really crappy short. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of the 50 show. I see why though. I mean, I see all the resistance at 50. I can see why you're picking that line, but I think, I think, I think what you're trying to say is you think 50 is a good sell target for all the dip buys down here. And <laughs> that would be the plan I would agree with. Um, but I wouldn't be waiting on just, just waiting to short at 50 is by the time that that happens, the market could be going against you entirely. And yeah, so um, yeah, we got earnings and it looks like Uber beat. Did they beat? Yeah, they beat. And I don't know why they did, but uh, yeah, they beat. That was last week, wasn't it? Yeah, that was last week. So I like Amazon the most in terms of opportunity. Uh, obviously, I've already got PayPal and everything loaded up and ready to go, PYPL. So same thing. PayPal almost did it. I mean, this is this is the setup right here, guys. Like this big panicked sell-off touches RSI almost there, man. It almost did it. It almost did it. And then you get this rally from 270 to 280. So, I mean, small, small rally. And PayPal has never been a big winner for me because it's just so wild, but it's got the potential. So honestly, if I had to pick any of these, you know, Spotify, just ugly chart. So I, I don't know if I'm going to even go with Spotify on that idea because of just the fact that, look, I mean, Historically speaking, buying it when it gets oversold has not been a terrible idea. And so same situation over here, not a terrible idea, rather flat. Same here, then we got the bounce and now it's like, eh, eh, not convinced. First green day on AMD, nah, not great opportunity there. What is it? LVS? Sands? What is this like a travel company or something? This is Sandals, Jamaica. And Michael and Jan are going to go on vacation. <laughs> uh, Las Vegas Sands. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.